So everyone, I'm very excited today to have Vegan Deterioration on the channel. Um, she's doing a lot of good work with her channel. I think that her videos are going to really show people the physical deterioration that's happening to a lot of the well-known vegan YouTubers. Um, and she does it in a very classy way. She's really concerned about their health and she is just showing everyone the health aspects of it and not personally attacking them so I think that's a really important message and if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and then start with your personal vegan story okay thank you for saying those things though I really appreciate it <laughs> um, I'm Char I went vegan in 2012 and I stayed vegan for about six and a half years um, Basically to avoid harming animals if I didn't have to, which later I realized that that's not the case, unfortunately. Okay. And I thought that it was supposed to be healthy, the healthiest diet that you can possibly do. And it seemed that way for a long time. Like my vegan experience was very good. Like I never had any digestional issues in the beginning for like about five years straight. Everything was amazing. And then out of nowhere, I got two kidney stones, which was probably due to consuming too many greens and blue-green algae, so I cut that out. And I didn't know that those things could cause kidney, kidney stones, like nobody ever told me. There are so many things you have to know before you eat all these vegetables. Yeah. And after those two kidney stones, a bunch of other things started happening, like all at once. So I went to the dentist and I had four cavities and one of my wisdom teeth was, it was crumbling. And I thought like, maybe I need more calcium. So I started, <laughs> I started taking a bunch of calcium and it was giving me bad chest pains. Like I felt like I was having heart attacks from taking calcium and I didn't understand why. <laughs> so I had to basically become a scientist and realize I had to take magnesium and D3 and K2 and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was going to heal my cavities by doing this stuff, but it didn't, it didn't work because I went back to the dentist a month later and all my wisdom teeth were, had to come out and I had um, 11 cavities. Oh, wow. So I spent like the next year getting dental work, getting my teeth extracted and getting those cavities filled. And if you keep going back to the dentist and getting that much dental work, you might get some side effects. I know it's rare to get a side effect from getting dental work, but if you go that many times, you're likely to get something. So I have tinnitus in both my ears, mm -hmm. which I'm hoping will go away. I think it's from getting those deep like needles put in so many times to numb. And so all that dental work is done, so I'm hoping that no more cavities will happen. <laughs> After that, I started noticing things that were weird and I didn't really attribute them to veganism. But now, now I know better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like my skin, started to look yellow sometimes which is kind of hard to see because I'm dark skinned so I'm seeing this yellowing it was it was weird and the palms of my hands were looking a little yellow my eyes and so I thought maybe I have a liver problem so I started taking milk thistle and doing castor oil packs on my liver and it actually worked so I'm thinking, you know, we just need natural stuff to heal whatever problems come our way. No, because it kept coming back. Like I had to do it every single week. Mm -hmm. Take all this milk thistle and put this castor oil in my, over my liver. It's just so funny. It's just so silly when I think back on it, like thinking you're supposed to live your life on herbs and castor oil packs. But <laughs> anyway, so after some time, I noticed my lips had no color. Like I would wake up in the morning and they would be a little like bluish almost. And then throughout the day they would turn gray. Yeah. And I thought maybe I have anemia, but I got my iron levels checked. They were normal. All my blood tests were normal the whole time I was vegan. So I don't believe blood tests anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my iron levels, they would go down like over time I was, while I was a vegan, but they were still normal. And um, my hair barely grew. 
I lost a lot of hair, like in this temple area, but it's growing back. <laughs> and um, I, I remember talking to my sister once and telling her my hair was getting thin. So nonchalantly, like, yeah, my hair is getting thin. She was like, wait, what? Why is your hair getting thin? I was like, I don't know. It's just getting thin, like <laughs> oh. overlooking things. And yeah, it makes okay. me upset with myself when I think back, like, how did I let all this happen? And uh, I started getting cramps throughout the month before my period. It started being about three days before my period, but then it kept extending longer and longer to like 10 days before. Cramps like basically a whole month <laughs> with like a week or two off. And then um, I started having like mental issues. I was very emotional, too emotional. I was having nightmares. I couldn't watch any, um, nothing scary, nothing with any, even with any type of drama, like it would just give me nightmares. Yeah. I had to watch like cartoons and Hallmark movies for like all year straight. So <laughs> crazy that you say that because the exact same thing happened to me. Like I used to love horror movies and then mm -hmm. when I was vegan, I literally couldn't handle anything. I couldn't handle anyone like being mean to me. I couldn't handle arguments. I couldn't handle anything bad. I would turn on cartoons because I felt like I needed to like get in a better mood. Yeah, like I used to watch scary movies and it would just be funny, but now it was like it was serious. Like it was, mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't even watch shows like Grey's Anatomy because I would be thinking, oh, this is what happened to me. I'm going to end up in a hospital. And they're going to have to operate me and I'm going I'm to flatline and all this stuff. Like Paranoia. So much paranoia. It takes, it drains you. But I look, overall, I overlooked everything for a long time. Like those, all that stuff I just named, it wasn't the reason I stopped being vegan. Like I, mm -hmm. I was just going along with it. But then I started to notice my face was looking old and haggard. It looked like I was living a hard life. Mm -hmm. I wasn't dark circles and deep forehead lines and nasal labial folds which seems to be going away and the gray lips that's part of um appearance as well when your lips are gray and blue and looking at vegan youtubers i uh, started seeing like a pattern like they're all looking not all of them some vegans look good and they will continue to look good and be healthy on a vegan diet but some people will end up looking jacked up, and I, I was one of them. And I decided I'm gonna stop being vegan. Well, I got this face cream. I was trying so many skin, skincare products, vegan stuff, like aloe vera and green tea mask and all this stuff. And I was just getting desperate, so I was buying everything. <laughs> and I got this cream from Japan. I didn't know what was in it. I just bought it because I was buying, literally buying everything I came across. And it was actually working. Like my face wasn't looking so so haggard and old, and I went to go buy another one, and I saw the I found an English um version of this thing because it was all in Japanese, mm -hmm. and it wasn't really a cream; it was just fat. It was the only ingredient was horse fat. Oh wow! Wait, what? <laughs> I, I think that was just the last. That was like the final straw. I was like, okay, I think I need animal products because mm -hmm. your body just recognizes it and uses it. Like I thought it was some natural cream, like um glycerin and lotion and stuff like that, but it was just fat. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's basically it. And the things that I see in the vegans, I make those videos not to talk badly about them because all that stuff that they're experiencing, I experienced too. So I'm not just poking fun at them because it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not at all when you go through it yourself. It's scary. It's, it's serious too. Yeah. And the way that my face was looking, I don't care about blood tests anymore. I don't care. I barely even care about science. Like people will say, show us your proof and your evidence and um, read, send links to um, sur not surveys, science experiments with showing people live longer and healthier as a vegan. I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah. Often, like people don't realize so the levels for blood tests here in North America, I'm not sure where you are, but mm. in North America, the levels are lower, like the sufficient levels are lower than in any other country pretty much. Like I know Europe has um, higher standards for the levels of vitamins and minerals. I know Asia has higher standards. So our standards are already low. 
So when you go to the doctor and they say, oh, you're okay, you're a little bit low, but you're okay, that's low compared to other standards. And different... I was, I was getting suspicious of that. Like, yeah. I was like, why is my iron normal? Like, it's in the lower end of normal, but it's still normal, so why am I experiencing super cold hands and feet and blue lips? Because <laughs> yeah. it really is low for optimal health and optimal function, but mm -hmm. their, for their blood test standards, it's okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's dangerous. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather go based off of what you feel and what you look like than what you see on a piece of paper or what somebody else tells you that you should be. Yeah. The I was ignoring like my physical symptoms a lot, but just like you said, I was trying so many creams. I know I had the the deep nasal labia folds are still there a little bit, but they've plumped up so much since I've started eating more fat. Um but it was the same thing. I was trying everything. And then I eventually tried this cream. And I didn't know it was the same kind of situation. I didn't really know, like, all the ingredients. The lady at the health food store just told me to try it. It's really good to pump up your skin, this and that. And I checked. And it um, had a few animal ingredients in it. I don't remember exactly which ones. And I felt so guilty. But it was the only thing that was helping my skin. And I was like, it made I made the connection like okay maybe what's missing is the animal products like the animal fat. Yeah, there's something to these animal products. Like as a vegan, like I used to roll my eyes when I heard people say stuff about what happened to them when they went vegan and they were they were breaking down their digestion was messed up. Like I used to be like whatever they were they were doing it right. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. but now I know like mm -hmm. I don't. I don't dismiss any anything. I don't care how crazy it sounds. I don't care if somebody told me their eye fell out on a vegan diet. I would probably believe it. Yeah. And I was super tired, and I overlooked that too. I kept telling myself, like, I'm a, I'm gonna have a chill day, a relaxing day, self care day, thinking I'm just doing self care and taking care of myself. But that was every single day. Cause yeah. I was in denial. I had no energy. <laughs> mm -hmm. The only thing that good that happened was I cleared up a bunch of chest acne, but I've been eating animal products and it didn't come back. So, because it's probably because it's organic and pasture raised yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I think that's the main issue is that people go from eating like a standard American diet to eating a vegan diet and they have such improvement because they're cutting out a lot of crap. Mm -hmm. um, and then they demonized the animal products when really it was the poor quality animal products because I had the same issue. I had cystic acne on my chest and my face, and I thought it was the animal products, but then I reintroduced animal products, and I reintroduced raw dairy, and I never broke out. Yeah, I haven't found raw dairy yet, but the regular dairy, about organic. I wish I could find some raw dairy, but it's hard. <laughs> yeah. What area are you in, if you don't mind me asking you? Um, I live in Pennsylvania. Okay, you should be able to get raw dairy there. Um, so there's, I know that one of the farms I order from, some of the farms are in Pennsylvania, because um, I'm in New York right now. So if you Google um, Uttermilk, or if you just Google farms in your area, they should have some, because it's legal there as long as you jo join a co-op. So you just like have to pay like a five dollar fee when you order, and it's just a member's fee. So you go to the farmer. Can they deliver? You can go to the farmer, but they do deliver. Yeah, I get it delivered. I'm just not sure if you're in the exact delivery zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I live like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> there should be some raw milk out here somewhere. Yeah, there should be, and I know that like a lot of Amish communities will sell raw milk as well. Oh, there's a lot of Amish people out here. Yeah, so you should be able to find it. It just takes a little bit more searching, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. It's raw dairy tastes so good. It's nothing like the pasteurized dairy. Yeah, I'm excited to try it once I, once I find it. Mm -hmm. You have any other symptoms? Anything else you wanted to say? Huh. Just looking old. I couldn't deal with it. And I don't care if the vegans say you were never vegan. I don't really care. <laughs> I was vegan. I, I was going to be vegan forever, so I thought I was going to be the next Annette Larkins. 
until I realized that I was already looking older than her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is interesting. Um, I seen a video somebody did and they were they zoomed in on her hands and she has like severe osteoarthritis like her her fingers were kind of maybe you can do a video on it, but her fingers were very <sighs> like you know when you see older people's hands and their fingers are very twisted and turned. Oh, the joints they get like yeah. well deformed. Yeah, that's what her know. hands looked like. Oh, yeah. I wonder what so. causes that from veganism. Like, yeah, it, it's definitely a lack of because I had extreme joint pain. I think it's a lack of collagen, cartilage. Um, you know, when you're eating animal products, you're getting in gelatin and, and nutrients that are going to help with your bone health, your joint health. Um, so I think that has a lot to do with it. But the problem is, is that these vegan celebrities or vegan influences, influencers in the community act like they're healthy and they're great and promote the lifestyle, but they still have health issues. And that's a perfect example. She promoted it like her whole life, but she clearly had health issues, underlying health issues. If her hands look like that, that's not normal, no matter how old you are to be having degeneration like that. Yeah, I think a lot of the vegans are having health issues. Yeah. Because one in particular, <clears throat> I'm not going to name her, but after like Bonnie Rebecca decided not to be vegan, then this lady came and said, well, I heal my um, digestional issues with oregano oil and... <clears throat> following all the celery juice protocol. But she never mentions that. She has a YouTube channel just making videos all the time. You never spoke about this till now. <laughs> it's suspicious. Yeah, because they they don't want to share their struggles on the vegan diet. Mm. And they're like I I get it because I kind of went through the same thing. Like when I started getting health issues on a vegan diet, I was posting a lot on Instagram. I hadn't been on YouTube yet, but I just wanted to like fix it myself. Because I thought it's just something simple, I'll get over it, and then I'll get back to being healthy on a vegan lifestyle. But it was just one thing after another, and then it's like, oh shit! Like, <laughs> those two kidney stones, it was just like an avalanche, like yeah, all at once. Every week it was something else. I had so many symptoms. I have symptoms I can't even really remember because I would be on Google, and I had symptoms of so many illnesses, like um, Addison's disease and adrenal fatigue and. Graves disease and hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, multiple sclerosis. I had so many symptoms, like I could have had any one of those diseases. And I was probably starting to get them too. Yeah, me too. I was constantly on Google, like, do I have this? Do I have that? Like, just trying to figure it out, trying to put the pieces together. And it was like, I wouldn't say it's as simple as including animal products, mm -hmm. but it it is as simple as that you know what I mean <laughs> yeah those pasture eggs they are something in there that, that's healing and powerful mm -hmm. that's what I started with and I just noticed a huge difference in my energy right away mm -hmm. yep and I've been working a lot more and not having all those chill days I can't take a chill day now I have energy <laughs> yeah. maybe a chill couple hours but not a whole day of self-care, mm -hmm. self-laziness, because I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, I wasted years of my life with all those self-care, not feeling good days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't regret it, because I probably would try veganism eventually. Like... Okay. Yeah, for myself, I know that I, I needed that experience, especially being a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. I needed that experience and it gives me two sides of the story to keep in mind, you know, when I have clients and they're going through the same thing, at least I know both sides of the spectrum. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, and I think it's the same for everyone that's vegan currently or that wants to go vegan is they're going to have to have their own experience. You can't really convince somebody otherwise. Yeah. Um, you couldn't convince me otherwise when I was <laughs> knee deep in veganism, like exactly. preaching to all my family members. You can't until you can relate. You can't really understand. Yeah. Unless you're just super, super open minded. And I, I, I was, or so I thought, until I was rolling my eyes at people for saying they're basically our whole digestive system is coming out with those greens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? 
Um, I think that was basically it. Okay. And I want well, people to know that my channel is not hate, and I'm not jealous of people, <laughs> and yeah. I'm not saying that people don't age, because of course people age, but there's a certain pace of aging that you're speeding up if you try to live off only plants. Yeah. You need those fats and that cholesterol. Yeah, I think that anybody with an open mind views your channel as doing just that. I never like viewed it as you hating on them whatsoever. You definitely um, look at the, the pictures and the facts in a very classy way. Um, but it's necessary. It's really necessary because young women are viewing their channels and they're editing and they're doing different angles and they're doing all these things to make themselves appear healthier than they are. But then when you sit down and you look at the before and afters of them and you, you're shocked and you realize what's really going on. So you are going to save a lot of people from just showing the facts. I hope so. And part of me is happy that Freely is up there with no makeup on and with this these black backgrounds and you can really see. Yeah. Just one one thing your channel did for me was I knew that it wasn't working for me, but I was kind of um, not sure if it could work for other people or if it was working for other people. And so your channel kind of solidified what I already noticed in myself. Uh, my best friend went vegan at the same time I did, and she had the same nasolabial folds. Her face was, like, melting off like mine was. The eye bags, the puffy, like, the eyes sinking, all of it. Yeah, I started getting these jowls right here. I was like, what is that? Nobody has in my family, but I started getting this little sagging skin. It's gone now, but it just looked like an old person. <laughs> yeah. So your channel really, like, made me, like, no, you're right. Like, this is what was going on. This is going on with everybody else. You're not crazy. Veganism right. ages you. End of story. Eat your fat. Yeah, I know there's people that will be vegan, and they'll look good for a long time. Like, I've had people in my comments say, oh, I've been vegan 20 years. And some of them, when you look at them, they really look, like, <laughs> They don't look as good as they think they do, some of them. They have sunken eyes and they look all yeah. shaky. But I know there's some ve vegans that'll look good long term. And that's good. But <laughs> you have to accept that there's people that, that won't. That I won't think it's thrive. Right. Everybody can live on just plants and stay healthy and looking good. Yeah. And you Not can't even do it like unless you live in a first world country, because where you want to get all these supplements and B twelve and research all these studies, mm -hmm. if you're poor and you live in a third world country. Yeah, and even here, the fruits and vegetables like they have barely any nutrients in them because the soil is completely garbage, mm -hmm. um, and so you're just eating like fiber and water essentially because the they're not nutrient dense enough. So you have to rely on supplements. And that might clean your body out for a minute, but after it's cleaned out, <laughs> it's time to rebuild. Yeah, I noticed that there's like kind of like a peak where people detox and they look good and then they crash like mm -hmm. they start going on that downward health spiral and you you can physically see it in them. And sometimes it happens really fast. Like you can be a vegan for like 10 years and then on that 11th year, <laughs> Yeah, well, accumulated malnourishment just get kicked up into your face and you'll see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't really seen anyone long term that really like to me, you can tell when people are long term vegans because of their physical appearance. They are paler. They can't hold a lot of muscle mass. Um, their face does appear aged. So even if they say they feel good, the physical symptoms are usually still there to a certain extent. In my opinion. <laughs> See, I would have said I felt good, even though I was having, like, sleeping in all day and putting on face masks. I would have I told somebody I felt good. <laughs> it's yeah. just style. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did the same thing for yeah. a while. <laughs> Eat an egg and see how good you were feeling before. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is what feeling good feels like. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was... <laughs> 
raw yogurt. I had raw yogurt from that farm company I just told you about. And, like, my whole body just, like, lit up. Mm-hmm. Like, I couldn't even experience the feeling. You, you, Once again, you have no idea until you starve yourself for so long of animal fat, and then mm-hmm. you reintroduce it, and every single cell in your body is, like, thanking you. You forget how you were supposed to feel. Yeah. Brings you back down to reality, and that's why after you don't care what any vegan says. You don't care mm-hmm. who thinks you were never vegan because – you were so vegan that you ignored all your symptoms and you put yourself through, you know, through the ringer of deteriorating just in the name of veganism. And you can't make them understand. Like, I was vegan till the end. Mm-hmm. Until I felt like the end was right around the corner. I thought I, I was having nightmares about flatlining. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I had to end the veganism. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out to do an interview. And once again, thank you for the channel that you're doing. I hope we can see your face more often on the channel. I'll probably live stream later tonight. <laughs> okay. But yeah, uh, yeah. I appreciate your channel too because you have the, the nutritional aspect. I don't have any nutrition or science on my channel. It's just like, yeah. Look and see, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'm going to link your channel below for everyone. And hope you have a good day, and I'll try and see you on your live stream later. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye.